Road 27 is the northernmost work site on the project, where crews have completed drilling and pouring concrete for support piers and abutments. Completion of this segment will allow traffic to safely cross over the existing BNSF tracks and future high-speed rail lines, eliminating the existing gated crossing and improving area safety. The Fresno River Viaduct, located just outside the city of Madeira, was the first work site of the high-speed rail project and is now nearing completion. The superstructure is finished and crews have started work on the barrier walls. This project should be complete later this year. Like Road 27, Avenue 8 is an overcrossing that will allow safe passage for vehicles over existing and future rail lines. MSE walls are complete and crews are currently working to finish the embankments. Rising waters from the long wet winter have moved the focus of work at the San Joaquin River to the pergola structure near Herndon Avenue in the city of Fresno. It will allow high-speed trains to pass over Union Pacific tracks. Crews are currently drilling into the earth to install rebar columns and steel culverts. There are many that will need to be completed. The pergola itself will be built on more than 50 columns. In the heart of Fresno, the State Route 99 realignment project is well underway. This section of highway between Ashland and Clinton Avenues is being moved 100 feet to the west to make room for high-speed rail tracks. You can see some paving is already complete. Utility relocation, electrical work including the installation of lighting and the installation of curbs and gutters are underway along various sections of the project. You can now start to see the outlines of the Fresno Trench in central Fresno. A section of the future trench is now lined with rebar columns. Drilling activities are moving north toward the start of the trench between Belmont and Olive Avenues. Meanwhile, crews working at the connected State Route 180 passageway are installing temporary structures to stabilize the area as they construct the box that will allow high-speed trains to pass under the highway. A little more than a year after the demolition of the old one-way Tuolumne Street Bridge began, the new two-way bridge is nearly complete. The bridge deck is complete with work continuing on barrier walls. Utility relocation is also underway at the east side of the bridge. Once complete, crews will finish the abutment, joining the bridge to the pre-existing street. The Cedar Viaduct is the program's most visible structure as it sits just yards from State Route 99. Workers from Southern California-based Martinez Steel were installing rebar on one section, preparing for the next concrete pour, while other workers from Bay Area-based Swager Davis were completing pre-tensioning work, pulling these metal cables with more than 8,000 pounds of pressure. Work on this project is moving beyond North Avenue, where crews have started the construction of columns and abutments. Construction Package 2-3 extends from American Avenue in Fresno to the kings Tulare County line. Just this week, crews have restarted a road improvement project, which includes asphalt overlay work on Road 40. That work is expected to last several weeks. And finally, in Construction Package 4, crews are busy with right-of-way and geotechnical work. Here we see crews potholing, a procedure used to find utility lines, as they prepare for construction later this year.